Hello everyone and welcome to another Blender Made Easy tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to reveal a logo or a texture using the paint roller effect. I've had a couple people ask me how to achieve this effect and it's actually pretty simple. This video is a continuation of this tutorial so if you haven't seen that yet, go click in the top right corner to check it out. Here is the final scene that we ended up with with that last tutorial. This first part of the video I will show you how to apply a texture to the paint and after that we will talk about the logo. So first off, we need to go into the material. So I'm going to split this view, switch it over to the shader editor. And then over here on the left side, we can go ahead and get rid of this hue saturation. We're not going to need that. If the node Wrangler add-on is enabled, you can preview this image sequence by hitting control shift and then left click on it. And if we do it twice, it will go over to the alpha channel. The alpha channel is what we're gonna want to use to add in the texture. This is basically going to be a mask. We can see we have a white value and a black value. So all we have to do now is press shift A and add in a texture and an image texture right here. I'm gonna click open and just navigate to a texture. For this demonstration, I'll just be using this wood texture. So I will select it and open it up. So what we need to do is take the color and plug that into the bottom input of this mix node. Once we do that, we can control shift left click on the principled shader and now we should be able to see our texture as you can see right there. So instead of using the color value from the image sequence, we're using the alpha, which is a mask and plugging that into the factor of this mix. This top value is the background of the canvas. Once again, so you can change it to whatever color you can add in another texture right here. The next step would be to change the color of the paint handle. So if I select it, I can come over to the base color of the principal shader and just change it over to a nice tan color to match the texture. Something like that will look pretty good. So now if we play our animation, we can see it's revealing the texture just like that. So there you go. That is how you apply a texture to the paint itself. Next up on our list is how to reveal a logo instead of a texture. To do this, we need to import our texture. So I'm gonna click that X button on the side and then click open and navigate to a logo. The logo that I'll be using is just this Blender logo, so I will select it and open it up. Now, you might think to just add in, in right here, and if we restart and play it, we can see it is working, but it's also displaying all of the alpha from this logo as a black color, as you can see here. We don't want this black part to show up. So in order to get rid of that alpha, you can add in a math node. So I'm gonna press Shift A, add in a converter, and then a math node, and we'll place it here. And then if we switch this over to multiply, then if we take the alpha from our logo, plug that into the bottom input, now it is going to work. So if we restart and then play it now, we can see that it doesn't have that black spot now and it's revealing the logo. Now you might notice though that our logo is a little bit stretched and it doesn't look very good. If we were to come up to this menu and select the UV image editor and go into edit mode, and then if we like scale up our texture, it's not gonna work either because it's going to mess up the paint itself. So what we need to do now is actually create a new UV map with this logo. In order to do that, we need to come over to the object data panel, which is this panel right here. It looks like a triangle. Open up the UV map and create a new UV map right here. I'm gonna call this UV map logo. Next up, make sure you have the logo texture selected. You can go into edit mode, press U and then unwrap. And this will unwrap it right here and then we can scale it up and place it how we want. Now at the moment we still can't see it working so we need to go back over to the shader editor and import that UV map in. Over on this left side, I'm gonna press Shift A, go underneath input and then add in a UV map node right here. From the drop down menu, select the logo and then take the UV and plug it into the vector of the logo texture. There we can see it's working, but we have another problem. It's actually upside down and it's also revealing a logo over on this left side. In order to only reveal the middle logo, we need to come over to the image texture and switch it from repeat over to clip. Now it will get rid of anything but that first logo that we have. Next up, we can go back over to the UV image editor, go into edit mode, rotate it all the way around and scale it up and place it anywhere on our mesh. I'll just scale it up and place it something like that. And there we go. We can see it's now working properly. It's revealing the logo without any black spots and it's not repeating it. 
Then of course you can select the paintbrush itself and change the color over here to a nice orange color. So over in the principled shader, we'll just go with a very nice orange, something like this. And then if we play it once again, this is our result. This also works for any dynamic paint simulation. If you have a image sequence node, just use the same thing with the alpha channel and you'll be good to go. Thank you for watching this video. If you learned something new or created something cool yourself, I would love to see it. So make sure to send it to me over on Instagram at BlenderMadeEasy. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one.